Greetings, welcome to the second demonstration of our digital prototyping and BIM series. In this second demonstration, we're going to talk about the second profile, a profile of an adventure user creating digital prototypes, and how do I take my digital prototype and provide BIM-ready content from it. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new level of detail. Now, level of detail allows inventor users to suppress or unsuppress certain components of a of a design when it's relevant or when it when they're irrelevant uh, throughout the design. So not just when it comes to exchange, but also while you're opening or closing files, level of detail is quite handy. Now, the thing that you're you what we want to do in this particular situation is determine well, which of these components of this assembly are going to actually integrate in with say HVAC piping or some plumbing that maybe somebody using Revit MEP would use. And anything else as far as, far as the internal guts of this, I'm going to go ahead and suppress it. Now suppressing as opposed to turning on and off visibility, uh, suppressing actually drops it from memory. Now once I've done that, I'm going to bring it into my AC Exchange tool set and I'm going to make sure that the UCS, I'm going to create a new UCS so that Z is vertical as it relates to this, uh, this assembly um, versus Z being out toward me at the screen. That ensures that the model is oriented properly once it gets placed into an assembly. And then, of course, I have the ability to put in HVAC or, in this case, piping connections. And these place actual connector objects. So somebody using Revit MEP or Revit or AutoCAD MEP can actually right-click on that object once they receive it and begin drawing pipe directly from that pipe connector and that information comes directly from the manufacturer. Now I've used one form of location with a level of detail. I'm going to further simplify this using our shrink wrap tool. Now our shrink wrap tool takes and further simplifies this model based upon percentage of overall size, percentage of, of uh, visibility, or also you can, you can see it goes through and it's going to patch all of those openings for me, all of those holes, all of those little facets that would make uh, this file uh, tremendously large when it comes to exchanging it into a uh, uh, into, into a BIM file. There are too many facets to it, if you will. So now that it's more simplified, let's zoom in here and let's take a look at the results by using shrink wrap. As you can see, all the holes are filled in. There's no there's no open gaps, and and I and I've kind of stripped out some of the intellectual property uh, even more than just using the level of detail. It was very quick and easy, very easy to do. Now next I'm going to go ahead and prepare this for exchange. And as you can see I'm going to determine which UCS. I created a new one. I want it to be oriented correctly. But <clears throat> I've also got this, uh, this this kind of blah looking image there. I want to go ahead and import a, uh, a file, a uh, nice rendering so that when somebody selects this file when they receive it they get real nice images of what it's doing. Now I also want to make sure that once this gets placed into a BIM application, it's categorized correctly so that when it gets scheduled and uh, it's 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 scheduled according to the way it should be. Put in any other appropriate metadata, save the file, and then once as a recipient of this exchange file, I receive it. I simply say file open, and this isn't a file exchange. It's nothing that I need to import and reorient. It's oriented correctly and it's BIM content directly from the engineering model. I didn't have to remodel it, I didn't have to redraw it. I simply utilized the tools to place pipe connectors, simplify the information, strip out any uh, unnecessary intellectual property so that doesn't get shared uh, with, uh, with folks that don't want it. And now I can take any piece of equipment and integrate it into a BIM project with my equipment. 